Alright, hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. We're going to focus this lesson on C string skills. Uh, we've used C strings uh, in the, the course at different times, but now we're going to drill down deeper. Uh, as you can imagine, they're used all the time, so we want to fully understand in this lesson all the different ways you can use uh, C strings. So with that as the introduction, let's start writing some code. As always, you should be following along. I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, REPL. And of course, we're going to be using C. And I will call this one C Programming Skills using REPL. And uh, let's call this how about String Skills. All right, let's create it. Now, first and foremost, this is a C string. And you, you already know this, we've covered this in the class, but now, as I said, we're drilling down deeper. So this a C string is, has uh, the double quotes around it. And of course, uh, when you run it, you can send a C string to print out and it will, will print it like that. An alternative way we could have done this is say that we're going to have a character array, let me say uh, maybe title, and it's going to be an array. How, how big is the array going to be? Well, how about let's say it's going to be hello world, actually we'll just say hello. Now, this is an array of what size? Well, it's going to be the size of this. In fact, let's click and run. And <clears throat> notice we didn't say how big to make this array, but the truth is a string is an array of characters. And in fact, if I do this, if I say printf, I'm going to say size of title. What is the size of that? And let's print it out as a uh, unsigned value and uh, backslash in. And I'm going to say size of uh, title. Now we see the little green and we say, oh, format specifies unsigned end, but the argument is unsigned long. So again it's saying this is an unsigned int, but this is an unsigned long. So to solve that just put a L in front of it. So this is a long that's unsigned. And so that will print that out. In fact, let me click on run. Size of six. Hmm. Why six? Well one two, three, four, five, and what is not shown but is always at the end of a string is the character zero. Basically the value zero is null. It's considered a null value and in fact that's how you know that the string is terminated. A C string always has the value of zero at the end. So that's why the length of this is actually not five but six as far as the storage. Now that is different than if I say printf the string length of title percent long unsigned and here I'm going to do string length of title. Now notice we got our warning implicitly declaring. Aha! Anytime you see that implicitly declaring it tells you you're missing a header file. So we'll come here and say include string.h takes care of that. So this is a key point. I find a lot of well, particularly when you're first starting in C coding there's confusion of 
how many bytes are required to store a string, that is what is the size, versus what is the length of a string. In fact, let's run this. Notice the size of title is 6, whereas the length, the string length, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Most of the time, you want to know the string length. But as you, we can see here, always remember there's that, that final character. In fact, let's do this. Let's say 4, integer i equals 0, i less than the size of title. Okay, so we want to go through every single byte that's in this array. So we'll say i plus plus. And let's print out the actual value. So we'll say print f. Oh, let's print out the value of i. Well, we'll do it like this. We'll say print out title of percent d equals, and let's print it out. Well, we'll do it like this. Let's print out as a decimal value, and then in parentheses, we'll also print it out as hex. So we'll say 02x backslash n. So let's print out title of i and title of i. Print it out two times. The title of i and title of i. Readjust here. You see our warning. More percent conversions than data arguments. Okay, so we want, we've got 0x, let's see, I want percent, oh, so I've got uh, 0, 02, so I want two places, and I want to show it as hex, and we've got a percent here, a percent here, a percent here, but we only have two that are here, so the warning is Basically, we're missing one of these, so we also want an I. So notice how I'm using the warnings as I'm writing the code. It, it's letting me, you know, I, I make the look at the warning and make the adjustment. So let me click on Run and check this out. We're printing out the, as we go through, we're printing out these characters, the the actual decimal value. So let's use uh, H as an example. So the character H actually has the value of 72 in decimal or it has the value of 40, uh, 48, hex 48 in hexadecimal. But this is the key thing I want you to observe. The C string terminates with a zero, literally the value of zero there. In fact, let's do this. Let's do one more thing. We will print out, in addition to printing this out, I'm going to remove the new line. And I'm going to put another colon here. And let's say if title of i uh, if it's if it's a printable character, let's print it out. So there is a function we can use called is alpha. So if is alpha. So if that's true, if it's an a alphabetic character, then what we will do is um, printf as a character backslash in and the character we would print is title of i. Now notice here implicitly declaring there we are implicit declaring well for this do it include C type dot H. And notice that went away as soon as I said. 
So this will take care if it's an alpha character. Now, if it's not an alpha character, like this is not something we can see. So what we'll do is say else printf not alpha character. This will be, be one or the other. Okay, looks like I'm missing one. Let's notice my red here. I'm missing one closing parentheses right there. And now let's run it. Cool, look at that. H E L L O. Not an alpha character, right? This is not something we can't see, it's hidden. Whereas these are, are visible. And we're printing out both the, these are the ASCII values. So the ASCII value is, is decimal 72 or hex 48. So this is a, a great example of what actually is a C string when you see something like this. We've kind of broken it down and, uh, and shown, shown the pieces. So this is probably a good stopping point at this video. Uh, as always, make sure you've typed in this code and you've run it and you've got, uh, got it working as I show it here. In fact, I think the last thing I will put is instead of saying hello world, let's say this is uh, C string demos. And let's also go ahead and put your name there. We'll say code by and put your name backslash in. Notice how I put in this string, I've got a backslash in and a backslash in. You can certainly do that. I put them there together. So we've got, this is, we'll say this is part one. But maybe I'll do one more. Let's say part one, backslash in. So in this video, before you end this video, your code should match what I've got here. And you should have uh, put your name there. All right. Cool. All right. I'll see you in the next video. We'll learn more about C-strings. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.